I have some new notes, Jello. Everybody, how you doing? And I didn't want to sound boring today, you know. Uh, sometimes that's why I like to, you know, try to just make these talks, you know, uh, a little more interesting. So if I'm sounding a little boring, don't give up. Just keep on listening. If this is the subject that you want to listen to, uh, the subject here today is battle of the sexes. What does battle of the sexes mean? Well, I play with this this um, subject uh, before, or this phrase of words, and it was just something to say. But now it's an actual topic, and I want to talk about battle of the sexes. Battle of the sexes is between women and Man, isn't this interesting talk? When I was growing up, a lot of women were complaining about men. Sad part is, is that they were still raising kids. So at the time, they didn't think about that they were raising men. So I, it's not so much that the talk about and the dads made the kids, you know, any different than what they were supposed to be. Uh, or uh, stop and put a disconnection between the dad and the kids. That's not what it is. You see, every person is different. Everybody vibes different. Everybody gets different results. And everybody uh, acts in different ways. So what does that mean? What might affect you might not affect the next person. Or what affects the next person might not affect you. So that means that either you're a strong person or you just one of these people who know how to handle situations. Because everybody is, in a sense, when you think about it, strong. Everybody is strong. Until they recognize that here comes a a problem or a situation in their life that they're like, oh, I just can't handle this. It's too difficult for me. So, um, battle of the sexes is more like men and women who can't handle each other. And, and, And most of the fights, arguments, and discussions is about Because they can't agree. They can't agree or, or, well, they don't like, well, this this person is doing it this way. I want it done exactly this way. People back, you know, when I start realizing men and women, period, I realized them. But when I start realizing is it in, in a relationship way, I realized that the whole problem was that if you didn't do certain things in a certain way that relationship could almost be over with if you don't you know just sometimes it just builds up and what happened is is that the um okay just for instance for example the woman might get mad at the man because He didn't put the chair right back in the place where they want it. And this is how they want it, okay? The man might get mad because all of the dishes weren't dried off or uh, they didn't put the dishes in a proper spot where he wanted them at. So one's complaining about dishes, one's complaining about furniture, you know, and then sometimes food, complaining about food. So just put that there. Don't touch mine. That's mine. And it can go there. I'm not saying every relationship is the same. But battle of the sexes. Once you get mad at somebody, it's hard to just recover in the same way, especially after so many apologies. Or should I say after so much forgiveness. Because on the other person's part, they're like, well, I said I was sorry, and they probably did mean it. But you're looking like, okay, 
yeah right on their heart they're like why won't they listen why won't they take me serious because you recognize that they have um you know accepted so many apologies that means you can give them 20 apologies and a person is like 20 apologies okay I'll take the 20 apologies but when it comes time to for the hundredth time that you have apologized they're like you're not serious and see when people say you're not serious they think you're not serious about them and so that's when things seem to go like downhill because you're like why aren't you serious about me and the other person is like, I am serious. But what if they're not, though? Then the battle of the sexes is going to start. Because then it's, it's almost like a war in a home. And so you have to stay in that home together. Or either you have to meet up at that place because you're in a relationship. You In your mind, you're thinking, hey, I'm going to have to meet up here. This is how relationships first start. You're like, I got to go to this house. But in actuality, you don't have to go anywhere. So you stop and think, what are we battling for? And one person may say, hey, we're not married. I don't have to battle with you. Another person may say, hey, we're married, and I still don't have to battle with you. So now you got to try to find out what it is that you should do because once 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 the person is admitted to a couple of apologies now you're going to start looking at them and they're going to say hey you're complaining about everything i do you're complaining about everywhere i go you're complaining about everything i say so now they're really feeling like hey you're not happy with me. Now you're talking to your friends. Now you're talking stuff about me. Now what are we going to do? Because I don't know if you're serious or not. How can I get to the point to know if we can even continue this relationship? Okay. So now with the battle of the sexes, how... Do you know who's winning? And is anybody supposed to win? Are they supposed to win? Because everybody wants to win. And when it comes to a battle, what if someone loses? Um, but in relationships, I realize that two people can win. Because it's two people. It takes two people to be in a relationship. You know, uh, as far as like a boyfriend, a girlfriend, husband, and a wife. They too can actually win if they can get past the part of the battle of the sexes. And that takes a lot of forgiving and moving forward and trying not to uh, sabotage the other person or just trying not to sabotage the whole relationship and, and, you know, taking it seriously. So when you take the relationship seriously, uh, then you'll understand. Because what, what makes that person know that you're actually taking the relationship seriously? First of all, I think... That in taking a relationship seriously, you must know that the other person is going to treat you at some point in time in this relationship like you matter. And that's up to you to decide. And you know because you can feel it, you know. And sometimes people could be in the wrong and say, hey, they don't really care about me. But listen up, somebody had a bad day. And now you think that it was geared toward you. So now 
what you're going to say is, hey, I forgive you. You gave me a difficult time. But guess what? <laughs> I'm going to forgive you today. It, every relationship is totally different. And you say, hey, how can how can you say that things are different? How can you say that you really care about me after all of those things you said? And the battle of the sex, the man says this, the woman says this, but they both said things that they ought not to have said. Or maybe they thought something that they weren't supposed to think. So now, someone has called their friends and told them everything. And now they're like, Wow, you said all of this, but you told your friend, so you thought it was okay. Because that just seems normal to you to tell your friend this and that, this and that. And you know, you got some friends that don't mind. Here we get. What are friends for? Right? What are friends for? So everyone knows that after the battle is there, you can either play the victim or you could be the victor. So that means you could either be victorious and stand up and stand out in your relationship. Or you can just be the victim and say, hey, I'm the one that's being hurt all the time. And sometimes people are victims. They are. Relationships, when you, when you first start, it, it, there's no class on it, really. And then the people who do have a class, it's, it's totally different to them once they're really actually in the relationship. And that's what it is. So, after the battle, what do you do? After the battle, what do you say? Like my status, if you've seen some very, very long-lasting, strong and healthy relationships, just like this. Comment. Uh, well, of course, this is more than a status because this is a whole record. Okay, so now that we have uh, listened to this discussion, I've talked about how everybody must be strong at some point. And women were created weaker than men for some reason. So women, no matter how difficult they are or not, no matter how much of a difficult time they give you a hard time they give you they expect the man to be more sensitive to them and it just seems to come naturally so realizing that even though everybody is strong whether it's the male or the female anyone can have a weaker moment or weaker times um, so battle of the sexes is something that we all can think about, especially everybody who's in a relationship or thinking about being in a relationship. You realize that when you're in a relationship or you're thinking about a relationship, you're thinking about doing things together or you are doing things together. You are investing in each other. And now, if everything has to split, then you're thinking about how we're going to split this this way and that way because you've done everything together. you got uh, the same car, the same house. You know, different things that you are sharing together that are serious to you, serious things. 
even children. Some people have children and they have to even decide, well, where are the children going to do if we just split? So it's really, really good if people can work on their relationship, but what if they can't? That's going to be difficult to say, hey, now we can't share everything. We got to split it apart and you get this portion and I get this portion. You do this and, you know, it's a lot. And most people in a relationship, they never think that they would not just continue working together. They always think that everything that they do is going to be did together and not apart or separate. So that's that's the issue. When they feel like, okay, we battled so much now... We just can't do this anymore. What do you do with your relationship? I've also found that people will split in that relationship, go and start another relationship, and then come back to that same relationship and say they want to give it another try. But is it, in fact, because they have some type of loyalty to one another Or did they change their mind and realize that, yes, you know, maybe I should have stayed within my relationship. And and now I can finally see if we can work things out together so that we won't ever have to split again. Maybe they can realize the difference. But what do they do if they've already had a relationship with someone else? What if there is a connection between them and someone else, and now that connection is not there anymore, but for the other person that either couple or both couples have left behind, and they come back, and those other people still have feelings, what do they do? It it could be more battle with that. You know, and most likely they're not going to want to battle. The other person might not care because their feelings are involved. They might not want to battle either, but people will battle. And as stated before, everybody wants to win. You know, so how do you win as a couple coming together? You come together with that person if it's really important to you, if you really think you can handle it. So it's either the two that you're dealing with or both. Because sometimes people realize that, yes, it's important, and I think that's what we should do. But how do they begin to start and decide in doing that? Because they don't want others to interrupt the relationship, especially if they're trying to bring it back together. And I'm sure other people know this because anybody who has ever been in a relationship knows this. So we're thinking about battle of the sexes. Now you see what it has did. And now the couple who wants their relationship back or wants to keep it and never uh, part from their relationship That's going to take work. They're going to have to realize that they're not battling with each other. It's going to take a lot of effort. So. And what if uh, also they talk to their friends and they've told everybody or told their friends everything that's happened. You think about how much that can do to the relationship. So it's a lot of putting back together. If you ever broken anything in your house or outside, something that belongs to you and you're trying to put the pieces back together, especially a broken, uh, like a plate or something, you'd be like, oh no, I'm throwing it away. But when it comes to human relationship, you're like, no, I'm going to hold it together a little bit more. It's going to take a lot of work, but I'm willing to do it because it's for me, it's going to benefit me. It's going to benefit my family, and it's going to benefit my mate. And my mate is my family now. So,
I hope you have enjoyed this conversation and it gives you something to think about. Okay, so maybe you'll find what is best to do for you this year because this year is and we're in 2020 and next year by uh, uh, 2021 we realize that everybody wants to have that new year resolution come to the point that some people are like I don't want to even talk about the new year resolution anymore because I've always said this is what I'm going to do I keep trying to do it and here come a new year so but what you're going to do is just work on that resolution now don't wait till the new year you can go ahead and start on that resolution right now and do the best that you can think about some of the things that you really work hard at doing and relationships are important whether it's your husband and wife uh children and parents children and grandparents children and uh cousins, aunts, uncles, or friends because your friends and your neighbors are mattering in your relationships also. So thank you for tuning in. This is drawn to me and I have enjoyed talking with you. And remember, if you like this conversation, like this status, Please skip by it if you don't like to listen to it, but you still can comment. All comments are welcome, but please keep it clean. Thank you.